the latest news from Bucks County, this is the Courier Times Update with Rachel Cannell. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Rachel Cannelli reporting from the Courier Times newsroom with your news update on this Valentine's Day, Thursday, February 14th. We begin right now with the latest details on one of the largest public corruption investigations in Bucks County history. 18 people, including current and former Ben Salem School District employees, are facing serious felony and misdemeanor charges, including theft and conspiracy, in a more than $1 million theft scheme and a ghost employee scam. And police say the arrests of the so-called Breakfast Club began with an anonymous note. We have team coverage including a thoroughly detailed account from reporters Joe Chevalier and Danny Adler and video from photographer Bill Frazier at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. This was a very uh, organized for a bunch of local people, a very organized organization where they were heading it in the front door and selling it out the back door for 100% profit. They were taking school district buses, as you can see from the chart to my far right, school district vans, buses, and giving them away to a, uh, a junkyard. That's Joel Zober up in Pipersville, and was getting nothing in return cash. What they were getting was all their people, all their friends got to go to that junkyard and get parts free. Authorities have hinted that more arrests could be coming as the investigation continues, so be sure to keep checking our website for updates. Two men and two women are being charged with armed robbery in a marijuana holdup at the LA Fitness parking lot in Warrington. Michael Darden, Jameel Williams, Michelle Nordlin, and Rachel Quinn are accused of stealing a quarter pound of marijuana, cell phones, wallets, and keys from a woman and two men. The suspects reportedly threatened to kill the victims if they called police. Horsham police spotted the four robbers in a white Chevrolet. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for next month. Reporter Matt Coughlin has more details in a story online. A match made in Spanish class? Two students who met in neighboring Montgomery County Community College's Spanish class recently got married. Reporter Gary Wexelblatt recently talked to the couple about how they fell in love for a story with video at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Hello, I'm Rebecca. Hello, I'm Goshen. And we met here at Montgomery County Community College in Spanish class, in Spanish conversation. Yeah, so it is definitely true that you can find your laugh anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> even in the Spanish class, even in community college, and it's just really amazing, I guess. When you find love, you know, everyone says that, but <laughs> you never believe it until you probably, like, experience it. When you know, you know. And we have more sweet stories to come for you on this romantic holiday. Photographer Stephanie Vito is at District Court in Bristol, where they're holding at least two weddings. We'll have photos and video. Kimberly Flanders is at a Valentine's Day adoption event at the Bucks County SPCA. And Makefield Elementary School fifth graders are wrapping donated gifts, writing cards, and sending them to three Air Force bases in Afghanistan. Reporter Joan Hellyer will have more on our website. After some overnight snow, we're seeing some sunshine on this Valentine's Day with a high near 46. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low around 32. The award-winning play Vagina Monologues is now playing at the Bucks County Playhouse in New Hope, and the production will benefit a Bucks County organization that helps victims of domestic violence, A Woman's Place. Kimberly Flanders has video online. This play tells the story of the people that we serve. And I think um, probably the really important thing to, to understand about this play is that it is telling the story of women. It could be any woman. And that blend of theater and activism is just such a great opportunity to reach different audiences and new audiences and raise awareness around this issue. The play features a wide variety of female voices and touches on the staggering fact that one billion women will experience violence this year and one in three women will experience violence in their lifetime. The show runs through Sunday this weekend. In high school sports, the Philadelphia Catholic League Boys Basketball Tournament is off to an exciting start. Archbishop Wood rallied past Lansdale Catholic in front of a packed house in the tournament's first round. Reporter Jen Wielgus talked to the guys from Wood about coming from behind by seven points. It was, it was getting close there for a little bit, so we were getting scared, but we came out through the end, made some foul shots at the end, so we were just real, real flat, not making any shots. It wasn't our night, really, from the field. Uh, a lot of guys couldn't get things going, so we had to kind of pick it up on defense, get some stops. We always have to come out strong, not as flat as we did, with a lot of energy, and uh, 
try to be more confident in our shots. Wood will meet Roman Catholic on Friday. We have more local sports coverage at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Philadelphia 76ers guard Drew Holiday is looking forward to his first NBA All-Star game this coming Sunday night. Sports writer Tom Moore got Drew's reaction about getting to play in the big game. My responsibility has definitely changed, so um, just getting confidence in that responsibility and getting that from the coaches, getting that from, from my teammates, uh, uh, as well as, I guess, other coaches and, and players in the league. Um, I really think that has changed. You can find more Sixers coverage on our website. And the Eagles added a vital piece to their arsenal by hiring Tom Gamble away from the 49ers. Sports reporter Ed Kratz says Gamble will serve as the team's vice president of player personnel. He'll be working with both college and pro player personnel departments. Some interesting facts about Gamble. He's got 25 years experience in the NFL. His father Harry was Eagles president from 1986 to 1995. And he was born on Valentine's Day 50 years ago. You can read more in Ed's story online. Now here's a look at what we're working on in the newsroom. There's a hearing today for the mother of a boy whose threats to shoot students and staff at Council Rock South in December closed the school. Joe Chevalier will be there as 50-year-old Elizabeth Donahoe faces charges of giving her son access to a firearm, that's a third-degree felony, and endangering the welfare of a child. Now that the Ben Salem School Board has agreed to cap the high school renovation project at $78 million, how much is that going to cost taxpayers? Reporter Danny Adler will have those calculations for you. And finally, the Council Rock Education Foundation is set to hand out $24,000 in grants this spring. That's their highest total ever. Chris English is working on a story with more details. You can find all of these stories and the latest local news at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. I'm Rachel Canelli. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day. More than a million meals have been served here at the Bucks County Emergency Homeless Shelter. Like any other home, this kitchen is the heart of this shelter, and it's in desperate need of some long overdue TLC. That's why Family Service Association, Comcast, The Courier Times, and Intelligencer newspapers are teaming up in a campaign asking you, Bucks County, to buck up. There will be collection boxes all across the county, so buck up, Bucks County. Let's take care of the heart of this shelter together so they can cook and serve a million more meals to those in need.